Hey, 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 what's up, my crypto fans? So, this is a new style of video for me. I've been asked so many times to say, if you do so much trading, where is your money? What do you do in the crypto space? Like I said, YouTube is my hobby. Crypto and trading, I've been doing for years and years and years for a professional institution. I cannot tell you the name of the company, but obviously, I also worked with them. But me showing you my 26k rolex or my amg sports car or even the penthouse pad i live in in london is absolutely no use to you what is that going to do for you it's going to show you how successful i am does it make me more believable absolutely not does it make me a better trader Fuck does it but what it does do is prove that something i am doing is absolutely winning so now you're sitting there waiting when is he going to drop it when is he going to hit me with Join my Discord or my Patreon for $29.99 a month. Well, am I shit going to do that? Because I don't think education like this should be charged for. Are you sitting there thinking, I want to make money. I want to do this, this and this to have financial freedom. Is that you? Yes, that's everyone, right? But can you do it to this level with this much BNB, with this much kind of assets? No, not straight away, because money comes to money right? You cannot say, I tell you, I did make nearly 10,000 in BNB and I was making nearly a thousand a day over the last few days. I'd say it's around about nearly 11 days. So it's just under a thousand a day. But for the sake of the YouTube title, I have said it's a thousand a day because I took high risk and I get high reward. But there is method to the madness and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So if you want to know how I did it, stay tuned and let's go crypto. So as you can see, here's my chart on BNB. Now, how I made this BNB discovery wasn't that difficult. I've got another video coming out, which I can't say too much about, but it will be out on another token called ABBNC. And that was the one I was originally tracking. Now, I was tracking that and I think, right, OK, this is all going to follow the kind of Bitcoin and the other pumps. I then want to see what I've got the most most holding on, which was BNB at the time. And I want to edge my bets on that. So what happens is I don't trade these for the longs and that. I just trade by buying BNB and selling BNB and I trade the pumps. Now I do do longs and I do do leverage trading, but I have to watch the charts and I don't really want to get the quick pump and dumps. I want to do some nice swings, some swing highs and some swing lows for buying and just get into this over the longevity. Like I said, the 25%. So what did I do? So I looked at the other token, I knew that was pumping. So I thought, what other tokens do I see that have got a nice consolidation period like down here, where it's been now really consolidating for me since the beginning of October. And I've been accumulating BNB from loads of other avenues. And I always like to keep a percentage in USTD because then I can go over to Binance Exchange and trade the shite out of this. So I was accumulating here BNB, not just because it was low, but because I use BNB for a lot of things. So I like to buy it in accumulation phase. Then I got rewarded here on the 25th of October. I seen this nice pump and I thought, OK, let's see where this goes. Now, this was not hard to predict because I've like I say in the other video, this is only trading retail money and retail likes to buy and sell at key supports and key resistance because there's not a great deal of skill in it. It is just one of the easiest ways to trade, but you need a lot of balls and you need to stick to your strategy. So for me, the next resistance area was here because that's where we had a lot of the resistance last time. So what happened? I went, I saved and bang, we went straight up there. But what do we do when it's up there? Do we sell? No, not when it touches. We wait for it to break through, come back down and retrace. And it does it every time. Now for me, I thought, okay, well, <laughs> this is not going to pump, but it did. So we're waiting for the next pump up and we broke through and we had this massive volume, broke through, retraced. And that's when I took some chips off the table. Now, I quickly, I don't I want to keep this video short. You're going to be asking, so why didn't you sell here? Remember, we're looking at where the key resistance was. We're not looking at where we just think, oh, we better FOMO in and out. We're looking at where the retail money and where the kind of 
majority will be looking at for support and resistance so this is why we chose this line here bang it happened we sold 25 percent of what we wanted to put in now bearing in mind i'm only trying to ascertain a 10,000 win here because the reason i'd stick to 10,000 is because that's how much i can afford to lose without it even affecting any of my portfolios that is what i've got in reserve so again only do you and i do me whether it's 100 or 200 dollars you can do it you're thinking well how am i going to get 10 grand you don't have to just get what you want as long as you're winning you can pat yourself on the back so now i'm thinking right i've took 25 percent off if this fails doesn't matter i always need bnb but i thinking right this has got a good pump now because my remember my other token is pumping as well so now i have to think where's the next level of support and resistance i've already exhausted this with my 25 percent which is key areas my next one is here now you're thinking well that's a lot of price trial action christian well let's go in the middle we want to see where the most touch points are with the ups and the downs so yes we've had peaks dips and crashes but we want to see where the majority start and end we want to think candle bodies not candle wicks and bang this is where i come to my next stage so you've got to remember here i'm selling a massive chunk off bearing in mind i'm thinking i'm only going to get one or two maybe shots of the cherry on this luckily as you can see i've got three but let me tell you what happened so bam we get this ultra volume and when i see ultra volume like this we're talking then is that institutional money are we getting in the realms of the big players here because when that much money comes in you know it's the big boys doing it and when i seen this candle ride up i thought wow that is good and it shot through where my kind of resistance line was so i'm thinking that smashed through my resistance but then we got a retracement down so when this started coming back down this was the retracement i was looking for so this is where i sold some of my chips so you think now i am massively out i'm 50 percent out on this and i'm thinking i've got 50 percent i've made some massive killer profits we're talking killer profits here because obviously i had super faith in this i went balls deep and we started shooting back down so i thought oh, okay we're going to come back down now to maybe these levels here and then i'll maybe look at thinking seeing what the price chart action is whether we consolidate or whether we fall to this level here i was just keeping an eye on it but bearing in mind this is at four o'clock in the afternoon and i know that a lot of traders at four o'clock day traders they want to dump on the market but boy was i wrong and we had another second wind and we went flying back through so i'm thinking right okay we've flown back through here and we're breaking into some big kind of levels here and for all this price chart action here not looking all the way back here we are in high levels and i'm thinking this is great so i'm thinking that i've already sold a lot of chips out here i'm just holding out and bam we get rewarded with this kind of dump off here so you think this is eight o'clock at night this is kind of 12 o'clock remember i am asleep at this time so i've not done any buying and sell trading i'm going to wake up in the morning thinking let's adjust myself i've woke up in the morning started looking at the trades and we're all the way up here so naturally i'm thinking this is way way well overbrought we're well well high on the rsi we're well high on the, on the analytics we're looking at the technicals and everything thinking they're strong buys so when they're strong buys i think the retail money's phone in so then i cashed out the rest of my 50 percent so now i am absolutely fully out of my bnb that i wanted to trade on and that's how i made my 10k 1k a day over since this period here where i was really consolidating it but we really started trading on the 25th but for me, watch the other video, the A, B, B, and C one, and you'll see exactly how I traded the same. It pumped the same difference. And now I'm over $20,000 richer in the space of 11 days. Now, I would never see any of that money because it doesn't come out of crypto. Um, I don't use crypto for my income. I use it as my retirement fund. So it doesn't really matter to me. It's all monopoly money. But again, this is going to then go into another project that's coming up with a pre-sale that I want to literally 5x my money on, which I'll tell you all about. But remember, I am opening a kind of coin calls, a kind of trading strategy group. I'm trying to build it out with a couple of other YouTubers and to keep sending my videos. They're just in it for kind of the fun and interest. 
and do YouTube as a living where I do trading and money making as a living and do YouTube for fun and interest. So we're joining together, learning off each other, doing great skills and building a massive community. But what better way to reward the, the subscribers I've got because yes, I'm only at 1,100 subscribers, but my God, do you guys engage. You are by far some of my best, best informations are out there this is all going to be free don't think oh he's trading he's showing us for those that don't believe me um maybe maybe not i'll show you my watch my car the place that i live i mean i can't turn the camera around here but you can see, you'll see the views if you're interested in london but that is how i roll but again that does not do anything for you I don't want to be big headed i don't want to show off to you i think the best way i can reward to you is not boasting how much i've got is by showing how much you can get if you do you now i'm not telling you to get into these coins no way can i pump and dump finance or a b b and c token i'm just telling you how to trade smart trade safe and not get wrecked that is absolutely it and on that note have a great evening morning or wherever it is you are and bye for now